We are all well aware that water is a valuable resource to ensure the sustenance of mankind. And Malaysia is blessed with abundant water through ample rainfall. But if we are not careful, we may lose this irreplaceable gift. But what if we told you that Indah Water Consortium IWK Sandiran Burhad, the national sewerage company, can provide an alternative non-potable water source to alleviate the burden of our raw water resources? And IWK is gradually advancing this agenda. Branching out from the traditional sewerage utility shell, IWK adopts a waste-to-wealth approach to support the sustainable water management agenda. IWK aspires to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, UNSDG, particularly Goal 6, clean water and sanitation through the implementation of the Green Technology Master Plan, GTMP 2017-2030, that focuses on resource recovery efforts. As such, IWK adopts green technology to convert byproducts from wastewater treatment processes into value-added, sustainable and reusable products, namely bioaffluent, biosolids and biogas. The reuse of byproducts are aligned with the GTMP's main focus of reusing 33% bioaffluent and 100% biosolids. This is also a shared strategic direction by the Ministry of Environment and Water, CASA, known as Environmental Sustainability in Malaysia 2020-2030, which aims to produce 1,500 MLD of reclaimed water from treated effluents. In this regard, IWK reuses one of its byproducts, namely the bioeffluent, as an alternative source of non potable water through the Reclaimed Water Initiative. This initiative involves further treatment of the existing treated effluent produced from IWK's sewage treatment plant, STP, through a modern technological process at the Water Reclamation Plant, WRP, which is specially built near IWK's STP. IWK embarked on a strategic joint venture with Pengurusan Ais Slango Sendiran Berhad Ais Slango to advance this initiative. Through Central Water Reclamation Sendiran Berhad Central Water, a special purpose vehicle SPV company, the bioaffluent treated at IWK's treatment plant will be further treated at Central Water's reclamation plant that is equipped with advanced technologies to produce non-portable reclaimed water that can be safely used for industrial purposes. Let us dive into the details of how the Reclaim Water Initiative works. Central Waters WRP is located in the Regional Sewage Treatment Plant RSTP Battalion at Satya Alam 1 Shah Alam Slango. The current capacity of the plant is 4 MLD and will tune up to 7.5 MLD per day after upgrading works. The treatment technologies that Central Water employs include pre-treatment, ultrafiltration or UF, and reverse osmosis or RO. Upon completion of the treatment process, the water is channeled through dedicated distribution pipes before being distributed to industrial end users. The first process is the pre-treatment process. In this pre-treatment process, the treated effluent is channeled through an auto strainer that sieves through coarse particles that may damage the UF filter membranes. When the strainer is blocked by particles, its pressure will build up and will be detected by the system to initiate a backwash process. The backwash reject water is discharged back into treatment works for processing. The filtrate will be delivered to the UF feed storage tank. The storage tank provides a buffer capacity to ensure smooth operation of downstream UF filtration process. The second process is ultrafiltration process. The UF filter can filter up to 1 micron of particles. Particles larger than the permitted size are retained at the UF membrane surface. The UF operates in a cross-flow manner that enables some of the liquid to flush out the retained particles on UF membrane and discharge the water back for treatment works. Other portion of the feed liquid is filtered through the membrane to produce clean UF product water. This UF product water is also stored in the UF product storage tank to ensure smooth operation when the UF is put into backwash mode. 
In order to ensure smoother operation of the downstream process, two banks of UF filtration is operated in parallel. If one unit is out of service for backwashing, the other UF filtration system will still produce UF product water. The last process is the reverse osmosis process. In this process, a very fine membrane is adopted to allow only water molecules to pass through the membrane under high pressure in a RO process. Due to the fact that only water molecules are able to seep through the membrane, an RO membrane will filter solute particles in liquid. Particles that are retained on the surface of the membrane is flushed out during the filtration process and discharged back for treatment works. Water that permeates through the RO membrane is collected as permeate water and stored in RO permeate storage tank. When the treated effluent has undergone all these processes, the final product is distributed to industries for non-portable use. This intricate process ensures that drinking water quality can be used for better purposes instead. The clean water or RO water in WRP that Central Water produces benefits the states and our country as we move towards the circular economy agenda. If you have any further questions or require additional information, kindly visit our website at www.iwk.com.my or visit our Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash Indah Water Consortium. Thank you for tuning in to our Water Reclamation Plant Virtual Tour. Hope to see you again and stay safe.